So you want to enter the market using a hotkey, but you want to do more than just a basic buy and sell. This is where custom order hotkeys are useful, whether it's for speed, ease of use, or preventing against human error. We're going to show you how to set that up and how you can take it to the next level by using a device that will help you organize all your hotkeys and make it very simple to use. Okay, so here's the goal. Let's just say we have this XABCD pattern and we want to trade it. I want to use a specific order type. I want to use three contracts and I want to have an ATM strategy. I want all to trigger 10 ticks below current price. And I want to press one button to do it. How do I do that? Okay, first things first, the hotkey is going to handle the order type and the distance below current price. So let's just say we're gonna uh, buy it and we want it 10 ticks below current price. So the quantity of three will be set into the ATM strategy and that will be the default in your chart trader so you don't have to keep picking it over and over again that when you press the hotkey, it's automatically gonna use that ATM template. Now to set that up so it always uses the same template again, what you need to do is right click on your chart trader, go to properties, you can change the setting, look for where it says the ATM selection mode to keep that last ATM template that you use as the current one going forward. Now the one that I'm gonna be using here is called an ATM template called FUT for futures, uh, 10 tick stop, 20 tick target. Okay, so that way you know exactly what it is. All these ATM templates that you see here, they can be downloaded for free in our ATM template pack that we just give out. So there will be a link for that in the description and in the comment area too. So now that we have our ATM template set up with the order quantity that we want, and it's gonna be there as a default sitting ready for us to use, what we need to do now is go into your NT8 control center window and go to tools and then hotkeys. Now under here where it says order entry, look for the box for custom orders. Now if this box is not showing up for you, you have an older version of NT8 and that you need to upgrade. So under your, uh, where it says custom orders, we're gonna create our first one now. We're gonna have our hotkey trigger when we hit Alt P and we wanna take that and we wanna put that limit order 10 ticks below current price. Okay, so that, that's where our limit order is gonna be and then our ATM template's gonna take over after that. So let's just say we're gonna select buy and uh, limit for the type and then for the, uh, the price, it's gonna be whatever for the current price is at uh, minus 10 uh, ticks in this case. So that way it's going to, if, if we're gonna to wanna to sell it, we're gonna create another one that says that we wanna have uh, plus 10 ticks and we're gonna switch our limit type and our order types to sell. So we're gonna have two hotkeys, one for uh, Alt P I'll do and the other one will be Alt O. One is gonna buy and the other is going to sell. So one thing to note is that this is a futures chart. It can be done on a Forex chart just by exchanging the word pips for ticks. So you're gonna put in 10, uh, uh, it's gonna say ticks, but that's gonna be 10 pips. Think of it this way, if you are using a fractional broker though, and you have like five decimal places, you're gonna expand that from 10 pips to basically 100 pips, and that's gonna take into account your fifth decimal. And of course, we're gonna assign this first one to Alt-P for a buy and Alt-O for a sell. So now that we've done that, I'm going to do another one quickly for a limit order, and that's going to sell at 10 ticks above and like I said, I'll make that one Alt O. Now, again, if you're if you're kind of wondering about the order quantity because it's not in here, that's going to be handled by the ATM strategy. It's not going to be handled by your hotkey, and that way you can have a bunch of ATM strategies ready to change your order. So it's kind of nice that way. Uh, so your ATM strategy will handle your order quantity. And now I'm going to do one that is going to be for uh, 20 ticks away and it's gonna have the same sort of setup. So I'm just gonna do another one. Instead of Alt-O uh, and Alt-P, we'll use Alt-I and Alt-U going across on the keyboard. And this is just gonna expand it for 20 ticks away. So 
So to manage all these hotkeys, because I'm never going to remember if it's all I or all O in the heat of the moment, I do use something called a Stream Deck XL, which I will put a link to in the top comment as well as the description if you wanted one. Uh, but it's going to be a way that we can organize all these hotkeys without having to remember what each one is associated to. So now what I'm going to be doing is attaching those same hotkeys we just configured in NinjaTrader that will never remember onto the stream deck, which is going to execute that hotkey. The difference is, is I get to put a label on the, on the stream deck that is going to make sense to me. So I can put, um, you know, it's going to be a, a 10 tick stop in 20 tick target right on the button with a, a background uh, image that is going to be a big green arrow for buy, right? And that way I'll always remember there won't be any sort of human error. Uh, now, once I have that done, I can confidently say what is going to happen when I push the button and it's going to do everything I need to do and kind of do all that automation. The stream deck, we do have another video on it specifically. It will go over and show you all the features and how you can actually do multiple hotkeys with one push of a button, which is another very useful thing. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know what I would do without it, but, um, if you want to give that video a watch, you, you definitely can. Uh, but that's basically it. You're, you're now done. You have all your hotkeys on your uh, stream deck and you're ready to go. Now, if you have any questions about your own setup, uh, put them in the comments below this video. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, our free ATM pack, if you have not downloaded it yet, is in the description uh, with a link as well as uh, I'll try and put it as a comment as well. Um, but it's there. Otherwise, just type in to Google X, A, B, C, D, ATM template pack, and I'm sure it will come up. Uh, anyways, if you are interested in that or the stream deck, uh, all those links you'll find below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.